Okay, so we got a day in the life of autism. Um, our son has been so aggressive that we are grasping at straws on what we can do to keep him calm. So, I made a concoction of some essential oils and I'll get it written down later, but, um, and it's a roll-on. And I'm like, okay, if he gets aggressive and I can get to him for a second without being attacked, I'm gonna just use it and just see what happens. Well, it's a little after 7 a.m. He's been up since 5, normal. He's probably been up since before then, but I crawled out of bed at 5. And, um, you can tell it was aggressive. Hold on, I gotta yell at my dog. You can tell it was an aggressive, gonna be an aggressive day. Please stop. <laughs> He's like, no, sorry. Um, and, uh, I tried to get him to the bathroom, and he was just not having it. He threw a fit, and I'm like, nope, you're not going to have any TV, no nothing, because with him, any kind of screen time spikes his aggression. It doesn't really matter what it is, but in the mornings, I give him that time to himself, watch some TV, do his thing before I shut it down, and we do our morning, day, evening routine. Well, I try to get him to the bathroom, and he just flipped out. I took the remote. I got him upstairs, and I'm thinking, you know, he's aggressive. Why not at a hot bath? Because I made a separate bottle of essential oils to use in his bath for when he's aggressive. Um, I'm experimenting with essential oils. I'm by far any kind of knowledge. It's just trial and error and uh, I'm trying to be quiet because I finally anyway I uh, started getting him undressed but I stopped the water because I was just rinsing out the tub and I guess I guess he thought well I'm not getting in the tub so I am going to lose my mind and he did the attacking the hitting the pinching the kicking trying to pull hair and I'm getting good at blocking after nine years I'm starting to get good at blocking I'm gonna try to let my dog out but try to be calm and I'll show you in a minute what he's doing um, so uh, I was like okay my husband woke up and got him to kind of chill out for a second well he flung himself down the steps and I'm like you're going to bed <laughs> you're aggressive mm -hmm. so I finally got the essential oil I put it on his by his ear on his wrist and I had him just kind of smell it a little bit and that like distracted him a little but <coughs> shoot I'm probably being too loud maybe I should go somewhere And I don't know if that like worked, but it seemed to stop the aggression. And it could have been a million things. It could have been like, oh, the smell. Um, Mom just touched me with something weird. Or it, it actually worked and he, oh, that dog. I don't know. I don't know. It could have been a combination of everything. So. He's still kind of aggressive. He's mad. He's staring at me. He's smiling. Oh, finally. We had a good 30 minute, well, 20 minutes. Well, maybe 15 because I just switched everything with the essential oils. Well, because it's still morning here, I'm like, I'm gonna shut off all the lights. Why not? I got some scenery. I'll try to see if, I don't know, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's scenery and it's classical music, it's calm. 
and I got it up. I hit the TV remote. I actually have it on me. I shut everything off and I put my diffuser on. Well, in my diffuser, there's cedar wood, cedar wood, and there's lavender in my um, diffuser. So I turned that on. I am going to be really upset with my dog. His energy is going to get my. I'm gonna. I gotta get his training collar. Sorry about the distraction of the background, and I'm not still by any means. Sneak into my husband's room, he's sleeping. Oh, he saw me with the collar, he's gonna stop. I said no. Go lay down. Go lay down. His energy is gonna get Scott going again. But anyway, I go lay down. I shut off the lights. I got my diffuser going. And now he's just sitting there. Let's see if I can't get a photo. Sorry about all the distractions. You probably can't even hear me. to sleep and that's fine he may because it's a normal thing for us to oh, it's a normal thing for us to wake up and be up at 5 a.m. you know it's it's a normal thing but <laughs> he's right there oh, he's calm though so I'm like I don't even care Look, right there. there. He's asking for a string. This really stems him up, but at this point, if he's just relaxing. Hi, honey. Hi. This is my son. Hi. You want more strings? Okay, we'll cut some more. Let's go. Let's cut some more. So. Other autism parents, if you can just grasp at straws, whatever works, go for it. You know, because his aggression is so bad to where we're like, we need to do another whole medicate medication change and we're gonna do all this and then we're thinking we're like let's go natural let's try some natural stuff um so I tried this and today it worked I'm not saying it's gonna work every time I'm not gonna sit here and say this is gonna be the the main thing that makes it happen I'm gonna have to get it to you in just a second Scott I don't know where the there's a hundred knives. I don't know why I'm not. Hi, sweetie. I'm just going to stick you guys right here. And you can tell I've been up forever. Like, it's not something that... Like I said, this is a normal thing, but... His aggression. Back up. I'm using a knife, honey. His, uh... His just aggression. Now, today was something new. something new um hold on honey i gotta cut it without you being like right in front of me <laughs> it's like what the heck mom um it's almost there it's almost there <laughs> there there i got it um he uh he slammed the door he went into our his bathroom and he slammed the door he kicked me out and shut me in it that's new I don't that doesn't happen 
So, this may work this morning. It might even work tomorrow, but it might not work the next day. And then you take a break, and you stop for a minute, and what are you pointing at? Nope, don't touch it. Do you want another one? Um, we're not going to use that, though, if you're going <clears> to... <throat> um, my suggestion is that when you find something that works, try it up until it doesn't. And then when it doesn't work, stop for a little bit. Don't totally knock it out of your lives, though, because later down the road, it might work again. You know, who knows? Autism is just such a, such a strange <laughs> thing. Yeah, I'm using nail clippers because I can't find the scissors and I'm not fighting with you around that night. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know, today it worked. Give it a shot. Try essential oils. Maybe. Maybe it was just the distraction, you know? Maybe it was just like, what the heck did mom just stick all over? Because you know, autism's got that sensory stuff, like... My son can't stand, like, lotion and all of that. He can't... He hates that stuff. You can tell I had a... Oh, damn, the lights are on. Okay, I will sit here and cut it all up for you. Hold on. Yeah? Just don't scream anymore. Um, so it might have just been that. It might have had nothing to do with the oils I put in it. It might have just been, like, what did he... What did he just put on? She just put on me. We don't know. So that could have been it too. So I'm not gonna say. I'm not sitting here saying go run and get all these oils and da da da. da. I don't know nothing about it. I'm just experimenting with them. Uh, but I love diffusers. So yeah. But today it worked. He's not asleep, which would have been great. But, today, today it worked. So I just wanted to pass that on to you guys and let you guys know some of the, the trick that I used today. That was the whole point of this.